myself I have told you many times now Yeah, can't you see that I just need to be by myself I have told you many times now But somewhere Skinner, welcome to the Ingersoll Creative Arts Center. Um, I'm an artist uh, in Ingersoll, and I have been for the last about 10 years, and um, I use the center as kind of a home base because there's a lot of creative people here, and you can uh, learn a lot of things about painting, what to do and what not to do, and suggestions. Anyway, I thought I would um, just point out how I got started. How would you put it? by accident, I guess. I was looking in a, it was in California, and I was looking in a window of a store, and it was on Rodeo Drive, where a lot of the fashion houses are, and I noticed this particular dress, and, uh, and I was amazed at how it was manufactured. Um, with These are all little shells here, and they've all been stitched on, and I, I thought it was interesting the way they, they uh, teared down like that. So I took a picture of it, and when I got home, I thought I would uh, try to replicate that in some sort of using something to put down on paper. Um, I hadn't even thought of using canvas or paints or anything like that. I wasn't familiar with that. So this is one of the first ones I did. I used a made circles, and I used a simple Sharpie markers to. Um, replicate this and this is one of the first you can see the balls and this it kind of looks the same but that was the beginning that was kind of the beginning of how I did it and then I went on and got a little more abstract and a little bit more uh, better using of the markers because there are different types and I ended up using a Copic marker which has a nice um, tip on the one end that you can feather the colors and um, so I went from doing circles to all different kinds of shapes and sizes and pictures. Um, and I quite enjoyed that. And then I, I made kind of an innocent transition. I had some acrylic paint at home and I took one of the paintings that are pictures that I had done with the uh, Copic marker and I started to fill in the colors with acrylic paint. And that was really the beginning of the of that the next step in in painting um, and that would be about eight years ago so I, I guess I mentioned that because um, it can start very innocently but then it leads into uh, greater things and it's been a wonderful change for me uh, to learn art and to learn design and I'm self-taught um, the it, it, it's been wonderful through the pandemic because it just gives you some place to go. It's like a book or painting or photography or writing or anything like that. It, it's, um, it's, it, it's very rejuvenating and very relaxing as well. I can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But somewhere. 